BYDX. What is its potential? Am I bullish? Am I buying? Will it get back to the all-time highs of $27 from here? Or is it a garbage project with better alternatives out there in what will undoubtedly be one of the hottest crypto narratives next bull cycle with decentralized perpetuals? Well, in today's video, we'll be going over exactly that, where regardless of if you have no idea what DYDX is, or if you're an expert on it, by the end of this video, you'll have all the info you need to make optimal decisions. And remember, this is not financial advice, just education. Okay, let's start with exactly that, how DEXs will be at the forefront of the best performing assets for next cycle, and how DYDX is a blue chip DEX, meaning DYDX finds itself in a situation that every single crypto project dreams to be in. Being a top project in the next hot niche. So it'd be a catastrophe if they somehow messed this up. I don't see that happening. And so yes, I am bullish on DYDX and expect big things. But it's not just that DYDX is a blue chip DEX, but so much more they're doing and how that puts them in an even better position. Allow me to explain. So again, put simply DYDX is a decentralized perpetual exchange where you can trade crypto assets. And during times like these with the amount of uncertainty from the SEC and just in general with central centralized crypto exchanges. It's not just a trend but an objective fact that the future of crypto trading will be through these decentralized players, which is why those that can position themselves as the top projects will be incredibly successful, and hence why there are other alternatives also competing to be such like GMX. GNS, Synthetics, Vega and so on. I always say that if you want an edge in crypto you have to pick a few categories and master them. Whether that's Layer 2's gaming, artificial intelligence, whatever. But if you're unsure about which to choose and just beginning I would also highly recommend decentralized perps because the derivatives marketplace is one of the most valuable in the world. Meaning there's going to be a lot of net value to catch as it expands. Who knows maybe this DYDX video can be your first step into that so I hope you're making notes. Now I say that DYDX is a blue chip in this narrative because it's the first mover. It literally is the first perp dex to launch. And what makes it even more unique is that it uses order book matchmaking for trading, which it would also be the first mover in. This makes it vastly unique to something like GMX which uses oracles for its trading. This could be the biggest debate right now in the entire niche about which is better order books or oracles. I personally would say order books where you match buyers and sellers rather than oracles which use market makers for the price of their assets. This discussion honestly deserves its own video because there's many pros and cons for each so make sure to sub for that. But just know that DYDX uses order book mechanics. Now I'll be honest I really like the DYDX product. I think it's great and they've come a really long way. But it does have a massive knock and that is that the value accrual of the DYDX token sucks. And this is something I preach often, that a lot of the projects don't have good value accrual for the token. And it's funny because people always gloat about their favorite projects saying they're amazing as they have X, Y, and Z, but so often it does nothing for the token, leading to price action being driven by pure speculation and not authentic by pressure. But the DYDX team has recognized this and why it's an issue and how other perp dexes do have good value accrual for their tokens. So they're coming out with a v4 upgrade later this year that will address exactly this, and help the token capture value through the product. In DYDX v4, there are many game-changing upgrades. The first is completely decentralizing the platform. So you may or may not know that many crypto projects don't start off very decentralized. Usually they have to progress toward that, meaning at first they're fairly centralized. So for example Polkadot came out and said we were once centralized but now we're a decentralized software. So with DYDX the actual trading incorporation was controlling the different trading components themselves. But now it's going fully open source with the launch of the V4 mainnet. This was obviously a must because if not, their entire thesis would have been brutally wrong. DYDX will be moving off of ETH to its own Cosmos blockchain to make this all happen. Right now they're using an off-chain order book that allows for deep liquidity. But this led to an MEV or maximal extractable value that validators could be using to extract profit through manipulating transactions. But the V4 upgrade will eliminate this aspect entirely. And additionally the thing that most are excited for including myself. V4 will introduce revenue sharing where those that hold and stake the DYDX token will be able to earn a percentage of the fees generated by the platform. This is obviously a humongous feat. The real yield narrative will take over DeFi. To provide some insight they've been doing 2 billion in trade 
trading volume daily, so the possibilities of revenue sharing and what it'll do for the actual token can't be put into words. And by the way a project doing 2 billion in trading volume while only being at a 300 million market cap is something to take note of. Now obviously this video isn't a promo, DYDX has many negatives as well. And although many of them will be getting addressed with the v4 upgrade the biggest one is the supply overhang of the project the vesting schedule and unlocks are brutal the mismatch between market cap and fully diluted mc is horrendous and the thing i'm most annoyed about is these unlocks were supposed to occur much before but they kept pushing it back and do you notice something isn't it strange the steep token unlocks begin right around the v4 upgrade and how it'd be only a couple months before the bitcoin having which will come in the following may and notice how the v4 upgrade itself is a couple months before the having which also kept getting delayed this is a red alert projects should be pushing relentlessly in the bear market and should not be manipulating parameters around it so the key thing to note here is the price of the asset is something they keep an eye on and care about which is not a good sign if you build well the price will follow as a byproduct that said where do i think dydx can end up in terms of price well again what's interesting is that the steep token release syncs up with the timing of the next bull market so if we assume the top will be november 2025 that is when almost all tokens will be released where 90 percent will be circulating and if we know anything about a bull market it's that sell pressure from token releases are limited so as much as i don't like the ethics behind the dydx team aligning the token releases like they have if you're just someone who cares about making money it is a pro if we assume dydx gets to a 10 billion market cap which i see possible seeing how uniswap got to 20 billion thorchain got to 5 billion pancake swap 7 billion and how dydx is one of the leading projects in the next iteration of DeFi with the perp narrative, then 10 billion divided by 900 million tokens makes DYDX $11 per token. And if we top out before that it can be much higher. But remember these are conservative estimates. I'd rather give a lower prediction and for us to be pleasantly surprised than say something absurd leading to disappointment. DYDX can do much better perhaps even reach all-time high again who knows. There's many projects I write off hitting all-time high again but DYDX is not necessarily one of them. If you enjoy this video which you clearly have if you made it this far then like and subscribe for more because my goal is to eventually get into every project there is so make sure to comment for which ones you want next remember none of this was financial advice and thanks for watching